Hi, I'm Marek Molarczyk from SciTrain.co.uk and this is another episode of Photoshop Lightroom TV and I did a video quite some time ago on running Photoshop on uh, Microsoft Surface Pro 3 and this time I want to show you another video when I'm actually running a Lightroom on it because some people have been asking about this video and quite often people uh, just can't believe that you can smoothly, quite smoothly, run the Lightroom on a Surface Pro. People quite often think that they need a super powerful machines, where you don't really. Just to show you what I'm running here, I'm running the Surface Pro 3. So this is the really old one, <laughs> you could say, because, well, I've had it for almost two years now, and this probably came out three or four years ago. So if I just show you this uh, machine in here, so what I'm running here is the Intel Core i5, it's a Surface Pro 3, so it's got an Intel Core i5 with 1.9 GHz, uh, 2.5, it's, it's got 8 GB of RAM, okay, uh, so not a lot by today's standards, but it's just fine, it's good enough, okay, so I'm going to close that, I'll keep the browser running, why not, so as you can see that you can run multiple because at the same time, and I'm just going to launch Lightroom, and you're going to see that it's going to load quite quickly. I'm, I'm running Lightroom Classic CC, okay? And I'll show you a couple of things in here. So, as we, as you're probably aware, Lightroom has always been not the fastest piece of software. It's been quite s slow, so don't expect it to be super fast. But it's usable. It's just fine. So it's loaded my library already. And we're talking about loads, loads of images. Even this folder here I'm working now, this folder has, well, 180 photographs, they all raw images, okay? So say if I pick an image, just so you can do something with it. So let's say, well, any image would do. So I could pick just this one here, go to develop module. Develop module would always take a moment to load, but it's actually quite quick, it's loaded already, okay? So in here, say if I make some adjustments, you can see how quick it is. So let's see if I change the temperature, do, 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 do. It goes straight away, pretty much straight away. Just takes like a second maybe to update, or less than a second. So I'm just going to undo. Obviously, I don't want to do that. <clears throat> but let's see if I scroll down a little bit as well. And here, can just exposure, maybe a bit brighter, like that. Maybe a bit more contrast. And let's say a bit more blacks in here. I'll scroll down in here as well. And let's say a bit more clarity and maybe less vibrance or more vibrance. You can see as I'm moving the vibrance slider, it all updates on the fly. There's no delay at all. Okay. So it's really pretty instantaneous, really. Actually, on this image, I could use the saturations. I'm going to reset vibrance and maybe do saturation instead. It's just the landscape. It's okay to have everything overly saturated a little bit. Okay. And then we can go to here, HSL, B and W. So uh, where are we in here? Let me just call up the histogram for a second so you can see more of my panels in here. Let's take on to luminance and make the blues a bit darker. Maybe a little bit, maybe something like that. It's pretty much instantaneous. So if I want to go to the library, just press G on the keyboard to go to the library. And it takes like less than a second to jump in the library. And for anything really, it's I think I think develop module is the most important one here for all of us editing images, because you want to make sure that you can develop images really quickly. But because you know when you export images, it exports in the background. You can do something else in the meantime, so it doesn't matter if it takes uh, half a minute or one minute. Also, when you scroll through the images you can see they show up pretty much instantaneously. Now what I want to also add in here, a little bit about my setup in here, one of these things I love about Surface Pro. And just to be clear, I'm not a massive fan of Microsoft, but this is an amazing piece of hardware. I've been, well, I've been using it for almost two years now. And I use it for training. I use it for my Lightroom courses and Photoshop courses and InDesign. And it's just really, really great. So what I like about the Surface Pro is that you've got this micro SD memory card slot at the back, which actually hides behind the kickstand. 
and all these images are on the memory card. If I grab any of these images in here, and say if I do show an explorer, you're going to see that it's actually <clears throat> on my memory card. Okay, it's on, I call it SDNG in here, but if I just go up, it's a memory card slot in here. So I've got all these pictures on the memory card slot, which sits inside the memory card slot all the time. So what I'm, what I'm getting in here is that even though the images are on, in a way, an external memory, Lightroom is still really fast. Let me show you if I jump to a different folder, something I haven't been using, uh, say, today or so. So if I go back to any folder, let's say maybe here, and I'll go down to another big folder, let's say this one here. This will take a moment, well, it's loaded already. <laughs> And if I just scroll down, it's all, it's all scrolling quite smoothly and really quickly. We're talking about almost 300 images and they just load really, really quickly. So in general, I'm very happy with the Surface Pro. I'll keep using it as long as it's working. <laughs> And I would definitely highly recommend it for anyone wanting to edit your images because sometimes people ask, oh, can I use, say, my iPad Pro? I don't want to use a computer anymore. Well, no, if you want to run something like a Lightroom or a Photoshop and Surface Pro here would be perfect. So any questions, let me know. This is the Surface Pro 3, the older one, on using Lightroom. I have another video which I did earlier on that shows using Photoshop and other applications using Surface Pro 3. So I hope you enjoyed it. Any questions, let me know. Thank you for watching. I'm Marek Mularczyk from SciTrain.co.uk. That's where you can find all the information about my courses. Um, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. And see you soon on another episode of Photoshop Lightroom TV. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye for now.